My name is Jeff Payne, and I am the creator of the Pale Face Lady. The foundation of this story started as a nightmare that I had right after I got married. We temporarily stayed in a two-story apartment while my wife and I were searching for a more permanent home. And at night, I would have this recurring dream of waking up in my bed and walking downstairs for a drink. While downstairs, I could feel the presence of this woman. As my eyes would scan the room, I could see her standing in different corners of the apartment just staring at me, completely void of any animation, like she was frozen. The more that I would try to ignore her presence, the closer she would get to me. As I would continue to have these dreams, I would write down little details here and there after I woke up. Um, this is what started the idea of the first chapter of The Pale Face Lady. With chapter one, I really wanted to nail the atmosphere and give you a narrative driven piece with visuals to accommodate that. I challenged myself to place the cursed spirit within every single scene of the film. To me, that gives the audience a nudge to go back and watch it a few more times over to try and find her throughout. With She Will Return, Chapter 2, I wanted to go a different direction. To take the atmosphere from Part 1, flesh it out and give it a darker tone with an overarching theme of sadness and regret. My life was pretty overwhelming during the making of this one and I wanted to take those emotions that I felt and create something with it. Sometimes life can really get you down and make you feel like you should just give up entirely. Sadness, hopelessness, regret, these are things we all feel from time to time and it's okay to have these moments, but it's not okay to give up. I honestly created She Will Return to help get my emotions out in a form of art with the hopes of it helping someone with the same feelings that I had went through during that time. This is the foundation of chapter two, She Will Return. With In Darkness I Wait, I really wanted it to be the payoff of the series. With the first Pale Face Lady, I established the atmosphere, and with Chapter 2, She Will Return, I fleshed out the story, and um, it pretty much establishes itself as a build-up to the credits. With In Darkness I Wait, I really wanted that to be the payoff of the series. I wanted it to be fast-paced, with lots of dread and horror, and um, adding just a bunch of little things in there that may confuse people or disorient them but I just I wanted it to be off the wall writing the music for the pale face lady was such a great experience to be part of I'd never done anything like it before. I've only ever written music for my own pleasure or for bands that I've been a part of. At the beginning of each movie, Jeff would send me links as to what kind of styles he would like the scores to be written in. But other than that, he'd give me freedom to write as I wanted and what I felt would sound right with each scene. Once Jeff would send me the finished footage, I'd review it and make notes of any cut times or any specific sounds that I wanted to include. What I learned throughout was writing music, fine. Trying to give Spooky a sound that hasn't been done a thousand times before. Yeah, a little bit hard. For any future projects coming up with Jeff, I'd like to try and rely less on virtual sounds and see what I can create myself just using my surroundings. 
Jeff is incredibly encouraging and easy to work with. The whole team has worked really hard on these two projects. I'm very thankful and grateful to have worked with them. So my name is Dustin Miller, and uh, in part one of the Pale Face trilogy, I actually played the lady, believe it or not. Um, it was Jeff's idea, you know, there have been some iconic uh, horror characters in the past that were played by men. Uh, Zelda from the Pet Cemetery uh, realm, and the, uh, the lady from, let's see, was it Insidious Chapter 2? Uh, just to give it a different look, and so that, that was his idea, and I decided to step in and don the dress, don the wig, and come out here and get my hands dirty, crawling around in dark holes with spiders and snakes and all kinds of good stuff. For the later two films, uh, part two, part three, I did some additional sound work. I uh, came out and held microphones, helped with lighting. Whatever Jeff needed, I tried to be at his beck and call and uh, just come out and help the rest of the crew and make these things as awesome as they could be. And I think they turned out um, extremely well. What did I bring to the character? Oh man, well, um, considering I was pretty much a statue for um, the entire time, I, <laughs> I guess I tried to draw a little bit on my uh, love for Japanese horror and films like The Grudge and, and The Ring and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't say that I brought too much to the role because I was completely motionless the whole time. Um, didn't bring much more than a creepy look. Just tried to look as creepy as possible and uh, stay warm. I, hell, I wish I could have brought a coat. It was very cold when we shot it. Um, but it, it was awesome. So I think regret and despair are big motifs throughout this franchise, you know, and Part one, there's still a lot of mystery in the picture in terms of uh, the lady's background and who she is, why she does what she does. Uh, in part two, we get more of a glimpse into her personal life and her father, actually, who's the new character in the second uh, installment. When you meet the father, you get a real sense of that regret and the despair that follows the choices that he makes, the kind of person that he is and the impact it had on his daughter and then sort of the, the road that it drove her down. Um, so what, what does she mean to me? I guess uh, make wise choices or the past may come back to haunt you. Hello, uh, my name is Sam Love and I was able to um, act in Jeff Payne's newest film uh, and we had a, a lot of fun. Uh, when we were filming this, uh, we were all able to uh, kind of put our own twists and our own suggestions into the uh, acting process. And so because of that, uh, I feel like all of us were able to uh, make the characters feel a little more genuine and uh, come up with things kind of in the moment, in that environment. And um, I think that ended up um, benefiting the way that uh, the characters were portrayed, made it feel a little more uh, uh, realistic. To me, I think uh, the pale face lady represents regret um, and kind of things that you can't escape from, that maybe uh, it's like it's something uh, that's in the back of your mind. Um, and that's something that everybody has to a degree. So I think um, that was pretty cool. Hello, okay. Uh, my name is Hannah Swayze. I played Mara. I tried to bring a lot of sincerity to her because uh, for that character because they're kind of essentially trapped in a time loop where they kind of live that over and over again. So I really wanted to drive home the point of like, they're experiencing this over and over and over and again and it's just as fresh every time. And I think that makes it so much scarier. <laughs> like the idea of like reliving like one of what is obviously the worst night of your life over and over and over again. I hadn't done any kind of acting in so long before this and then to jump back into it and be around such wonderful people who are so comfortable and so fun. I mean, they scared me at least once a day. <laughs> scared the pants off of me, but it was super fun. They were really, really professional and wonderful and amazing. So my take on the pale face lady, 
um, or at least specifically on this installment of it, is like, I mean, I guess it's twofold. There's like, I, I'm sure it was some kind of demon and witch thing, um, which, I mean, I don't know if it's a real, but I'm not gonna test that power. Um, <laughs> that could be whatever it wants to be. Playing off of what other people have said, I mean, there are, I mean, we kind of trap ourselves in our own personal hells sometimes, you know, we kind of make the same mistakes over and over again. And I mean, if you wanted to assign a bigger meaning to it, I think that, you know, kind of holds some truth in and of itself that, you know, as humans, we repeat ourselves over and over and over again. It hurts us and then we do it again and it hurts us and we do it again. It's just, I guess, human error, which is also incredibly scary once you think about it sometimes. Ah, this is my introduction. I'm John Alton, and in uh, She Will Return, is that right? She Will Return? I play Father. What did I bring to my character? Um, a lot of history, I think, was uh, because, I mean, this is a man who has lost everything, and much of it is his own fault. So, it's it's funny. I, I feel a little guilty when I get called an actor because I'm like, who's acting? That's pretty much my life. But uh, but because of the things that have happened in my life, I was able to, you know, think about the mistakes I've made and you know people I've hurt over the years, people that have hurt me, and uh, bring that into that character who is I mean, he's a man who's breaking down. Um, I don't drink, but. Uh, when I was young, I had a short period of time where I did drink, and, and I remember those times, and so I was able to pull that in. But, you know, it, it, it was fairly easy, I think, to, to draw upon what I've been through and what I've seen other people go through. Because, um, I mean, I have friends who've lost family members, and obviously I've lost family members. Um, so it was, it was just basically taking what I've been through and transferring it into what I think he's been through. Working with the cast and crew, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, everybody on the shoot was great. Uh, Rachel was fantastic in, in her role. Um, she definitely you know, played a, a good uh, creepy character, especially with that, that thing that she can do with her elbows that I cannot do. One thing I really liked about it was, uh, I don't think it was intentional, maybe it was, I don't know. It reminded me of Psycho, because what a lot of people don't realize is in Psycho, when you're in the shower scene, uh, every time the camera cuts back to the mother figure who is stabbing, it's a different person playing that character. They had people from the crew and other people uh, playing that, and the pale-faced lady, was played by more than one person, and I, I kind of like that. Obviously, the daughter has been traumatized by me because of the choices that I made in my life. I was the direct cause of my wife's death. That was traumatic for the daughter, and she needed somewhere to find herself, to try to find meaning in this and like many people they take a bad turn they they turn to drugs alcohol or in this case the dark arts i wonder if maybe she was trying to bring back her mother or join her mother and then i've also wondered if when she kills me if perhaps she was killing me so that we could all be together again the way that we were when we were happy. But I believe she was just a, a tortured person who needed needed something. And the direction that she chose led her to a, a path that led to her death and ultimately my death too. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Taylor and I play the pale-faced lady in She Will Return and In Darkness I Wait.
the way I see the pale face lady is kind of like this lonely anger. Um, so she starts out with uh, just a lot of anger towards her father. Um, and then she turns that into this vengeance, um, but she ends up kind of lonely um, in it all. And that's why she keeps taking soul after soul after soul, because um, she's kind of lonely in this anger with herself. Cast and crew on The Pale Face Lady was an insane amount of fun. Um, it didn't feel like we were doing a lot of work, um, and yet it turned out to be just this extremely awesome um, production at the end of it. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of dancing, a lot of sweating with She Will Return, and a lot of freezing in, in Darkness I Wait, because um, Jeff likes to work in extremes of temperature, apparently. Um, but we had a blast uh, the whole way, so. Hi! Good try. <laughs> I am the pale face lady. No, no. <laughs> I am the lady. <laughs> I laid the foundation for this whole thing. I had a vision, man. Book deals, podcasts, Jimmy Kimmel. And now we have a replacement. So that's all out of the window. Merry Christmas, 2020. Call me Jeff, 86. Here is the real pale face lady, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you can see more of my work. I'm on IMDb. Um, I've got uh, the movie American Sci-Fi by Jupiter Journey Productions is making the film circuit right now, the festival circuit. So um, follow them on uh, Facebook. You can uh, see me, I'm part of a, um, a local theater group in downtown Johnson City at the Wallace Theater. We have um, improv shows the second Saturday of every month, and uh, I also play music around in town and uh, book for events during festivals, and um, I just try to perpetuate the arts, so keep your eyes and ears open and hopefully we'll see you around. So if you guys want to check out anything that I do artistically, maybe the best place to find me would just be my Instagram. I don't have a ton out there in the ether right now. I've um, been a musician for quite a while and I've, I've released a couple of original albums, just EPs, uh, one in 2016 and then another one last year. Those are available on Apple Music and Spotify. You can look up Dustin Miller. Most recent one being uh, Fire Speak, the EP. Um, that was out last year. It was a super fun project. Um, got some photography stuff coming in, up in the works. Jeff Payne is kind of showing me the ropes in that regard, and I'll be launching a new Instagram um, that'll be kind of my homage to photography and, and uh, all the stuff that I pursue in that world. Um, as far as music goes, if you want to find me on Instagram, it's just Dustin Miller 96 and uh, hope to see you guys there. Thank you. Fun fact, in real life, I'm an orthopedic PA, um, and you can catch me on Instagram at RayTay44. You can find me in other places. Uh, I'm in a film called 101 Zombies. It is available for streaming on Amazon Prime. I play uh, Trucker in that. I also was a part of a series that for three glorious days was part of Disney called The Stranger. Uh, the easiest way to find that is on YouTube now. Uh, search for The Stranger Cradle. Um, and I'm very terrified to be here right now. <laughs> I am so scared of this house. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. Are you already play? Are you already recording? Yeah. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I would not have goofed around as much. Okay. Woosah. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just be better than your acting in the movie. <laughs> you know what, Jeff? We're gonna fight now. Can you cover up the hand on the ghost? Oh, God! <laughs> I got that. That's it, I quit. I'm. Um, see ya.